You can bring this to your families and it's deadly and it's a killer and, and it's very serious and people need to take that very seriously. That's a warning tonight from a former Salina City Council member after his mother passes away from COVID-19 just last week. Thanks for being here at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. Sergio Sanchez is trying to share his story here in hopes that others may listen and they will be more careful. Our KION's Josh Cristianto live for us tonight in Salinas with more on his story. Josh. Well, that's right, Veronica. The emotions still fresh over the loss of Mama Cruz Torres Sanchez, who herself is a two-time cancer survivor. Now, this tragic story began at the beginning of November when she tested positive for COVID-19. That's the worst thing of this. That, that you, you can you can't see them, you can't comfort them, you can't do anything for them, uh, and that really hurts you, and it hurts the entire family because. This is someone that you love and respect and you want to be near them because this is the first time in their, their lives and, you know, they mostly die alone. Former Salina City Council member Sergio Sanchez tells me his mother, Cruz Torres Sanchez, didn't want to go to the hospital. She was scared. She already survived two bouts of cancer and two heart attacks. She was confident she would beat COVID-19 too. But Sergio says his mom's symptoms were worsening at the outset, where she experienced shortness of breath and eventually pneumonia-like issues. She was transported to Hanford Adventist Hospital in the San Joaquin Valley, where she lives in Fresno County. Within hours, she was, uh, because her oxygen level had dropped so badly um, that she needed to be sedated and intubated. Sanchez tells me he felt helpless in the days before his mother died. He says he's usually known as a fixer, helping others out in their times of trial, but there was nothing he could do for his own mom. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. Cruz Torres Sanchez passed away in the hospital Monday, November 23rd. She was 72 years old. She leaves behind her family along with two brand new grandkids. Sergio says his mother likely contracted the virus from a member of her own household who is an essential worker. But he has a message for us still living in a COVID-19 pandemic world, especially to the youth who might be having parties or hanging out with friends. If you love your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, your older uncle, uncles and aunts, you know, don't, don't, don't do that. Do it. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for them. And Sergio says the family is still working out funeral plans right now, but his brother actually contracted COVID-19 recently and is in the hospital. He's hoping that he will be able to recover quickly so that they can say goodbye to their mom. Reporting live in Salinas, Josh Cristianto, KIO News Channel 546.